well, for those who didn't see the movie, it's set. Uh, so the machines have, you know, with supercomputers and quantum computers and brain-like uh, neural nets and, and, and the rest of it have reached human level intelligence. And the uh, opposition groups organized, uh, military uh, assassinate. So they they assassinate uh, the the main architect who built one of these major machines, and that, that's sort of what the story is about. So uh, this uh, I can't remember the name. Rift Rift. The name of the organization that who are the terrorists who who are killing the brain builders and the AI companies and so on. They call Rift. I, I can't, that's an acronym, I can't remember what it stands for. But that's the equivalent in, in my book that I call Terrans. So uh, ter Terrans, that's not terror as in terrorist, it's terra as in terra firma, because that's their perspective. They, they see human beings as the top criteria. They, it, they, they say, well, e everything that we know of uh, is implicated on human beings being human beings. So we, the Terrans, will not tolerate that uh, these machines are allowed to become smarter than us and to rule over us and to, to decide our fate. And in the limit, these these Terrans will go to war over this. I believe, I believe, will go to war over this issue, uh, arguing that it's the lesser. You know, it's where philosophy and ethics come in. It is the lesser evil to kill off several million. People who want to build these uh, these artifacts and I label them cosmists. That's based on the word cosmos because that's their perspective, right? The much bigger picture, and and the cosmists they're by definition they're in favour of building artifacts, and Terrans they're the ones who are opposed. So I see society in the near future within a decade, yeah, you know, well well within the 2020s, uh, splitting into two major political ideological groups, Terrans and Cosmos. So the Cosmos want to build the artifacts and the Terrans are opposed. And the Terrans will argue, I'm arguing, that it's better, it's the lesser evil, to kill off several million Cosmos, the ones who want to build them, for the sake of the survival of the billions of human beings. And so, as as, pu as push really comes to shove, as, as as that IQ gap seriously closes, and and you know millions of people start becoming really worried that their machines are becoming you know close to their own level of intelligence, and start feeling really antsy. Uh, well, let me try to make that a bit more emotional to make it more real. Imagine, I don't know, twenty whatever years in the future. You're a parent of adult children, and your children come to you and say, Dad, we've decided we're going to cyborg ourselves. That's, that, that, that's in a sense that the cyborgists are a kind of third group. They're the, they're the people who say, well, we, can, we you know, this, this third group, we can avoid this uh, polarity between the, the, the cosmos and the Terrans, by d doing this, you know, doing this. Got to get together. So I'm, I'm adding, I'm adding components to my own brain. So I'm becoming a, by definition, a cyborg. That's short for cybernetic organism. In other words, part machine, part human. So, so these cyborgists want to become our select gods themselves by modifying themselves. To such a point that eventually the the human component in in their nature becomes negligible. You know, it's just zero point zero 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 one percent of what they are, and the rest is just intellect. So um, that that that's a third group. So uh, the the Terrans, they they will realize they have a time window. They they can't wait too long. If if they do nothing, if they if they don't hit back. It, it'll be too late for that because then the artifacts will come into being, the machines, the pure machines, and these cyborgists will be 99.99999% artifacts, so virtually indistinguishable from a pure machine, just in terms of computing capacity. And so the the terrorists, for example, um, so yeah, getting back to the the parents, 
So the uh, the the children go to the parents and say, "We we have decided we're going to cyborg ourselves and we're going to become artlets." And they do that, and then then how will the parents feel? They've lost their kids because yeah, you know, they're, they're not a human. So the the emotions can can say, like I I I can present that even in a more in a stronger format. Uh, imagine. Uh, there are cyborgs left and right. They're they're everywhere, and you're a young woman, and you're you've just given birth to your first child, and the question arises: Am I going to cyborg my child, my baby? So imagine you say yes, and then so a, a, a tiny grain of uh, sand that's been nanotech, so that one atom is manipulating one bit of information. And that atom can switch back and forth in a fictose second. That's a quadrillionth of a second. There's more computing capacity in that grain of sand. Where if, you, if you actually calculate it, you, know, you, you can calculate the number of atoms in that tiny you know, one cubic millimeter, let's say, of sand. And the switching in fictose seconds. And there, you, you, there's more com computing capacity in that grain of sand compared to the human brain, the estimate computing capacity of the human brain by a factor of, uh, I calculated what's something like uh, 10 to the 18 or something, like like a million trillion times. So, so imagine then being that mother and you cyborg your baby and that baby then is 0.001% human and 99.99999% artillery and totally alien so that mother will feel she has lost her child so so this there's enormous scope for emotional alienation within society those who really want to build these godlike creatures so so for the for the cosmos building these creatures would be kind of religion for them it would be a sort of scientist's type religion. They'd be building gods. Well, like uh, one of the slogans I mentioned a bit before, uh, expressing the whole issue in, in a nutshell is, do we, we human beings, do we build gods or do we build our potential exterminators? Because, you know, the Terran viewpoint and, and the cosmos viewpoint. The, the cosmos, the, they were like, you know, there's the, a the whole universe, right? The big picture. We, we, pathetic Little human beings snuffed out in 80 years in a universe that's billions of years old. You know, that kind of reasoning, big picture reasoning, God building. I mean, it's a powerful, powerful ideology that the cosmos are pushing. And uh, they have other arguments like it's human nature to strive. Right? We're just, it's in our genes to push you know, and to be curious what's over the next hill. That kind of thing. So how do you stop it? And and then there are momentum arguments. If, if you're a cosmos, you say this is inevitable. You, you, how how on earth are you going to stop it? Because uh, there's the economic momentum, and the even stronger military momentum. Like I, I, I'm predicting that brain builder companies in time, decade or so, a bit more maybe will become the world's biggest industry, the richest industry, because everyone will want a, a household robot that can do really useful things, like educate you, teach you, give you therapy, educate, uh, sex you, entertain you, and so on. They will be so useful that people will be prepared to spend more money than, say, for a car or even a house to, to buy their own home robot. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. 
His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year is going to be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm going to tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. And let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you going to do? What's the choice that you're going to make?